Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Luis. I'm making my uh, my first video for the uh, the Midwestern White Shavers. I'm really happy to be making it. I've been saying for two weeks I'm gonna make one, and it just hasn't happened because I've I've been busy with some things. But now I'm finally glad to be here. Today I'm using the Cremo Shave Stick Biley BR177 with a Wilkinson sword blade. Uh, my favorite brush, the Omega S10065. I already got it lathered up. Surprisingly, even though this is an incredibly uh, soft soap, this Cremo Shave Stick. Take a look at it, by the way, if you want. Now, when I face lather with this, uh, it's a thin lather, but it's very slick. So, that's fine. But this bowl lathers very well. I, I went that before the, uh, before the video started. Looking really good. <coughs> and after shaves... Aqua Velva, Ice Blue. This is my favorite aftershave. The menthol is uh, really good. Uh, Osage Rub feels better, but this smells better. And overall, I care about scent. But I'm a big menthol guy, so that's amazing. <clears throat> and uh, from Bath & Body Works, Paris for Men. It's a body lotion, but sometimes I use these as uh, aftershave bombs. They're really good. I, I, I highly recommend it if you... Uh, Go to Bath and Body Works. They sell these for five dollars. <clears throat> also at Bath and Body Works, they have um, Co Bigelow. It's a uh, shave cream. It comes in a tube. They sell a small one and a and a, and a large one. And I think the the smallest one is a uh, like. Like five dollars. The big one's like eight, so it's not a bad deal. So I'm gonna use this on my face first, like that. <coughs> A little more water on that. There we go. Very good ladder, my goodness. Alrighty. Even it out. I'm really happy with how the Midwestern Watch Shavers has been going. The Facebook group, the Instagram, this YouTube channel, people have been posting and I'm finally posting on it. <clears throat> a lot of people are planning on doing a lot more live shaves on Facebook. A lot of people are joining and posting a bunch of products that they use. Artisans are in there. That's a massive accomplishment. Everybody's friendly and doing good. Good people. We don't try to get the best of the best because, you know, obviously there's, what, probably millions of people in, in, in the wet shaving hobby. But our biggest accomplishment is the fact that our group is full of, of, of people that are always respectful and nice. And, uh, I mean, from my experience, that's rare. That's not really the case in a lot of groups. But that was the, that's our biggest goal, <clears throat> maintaining that. And also all the other things that's been going on. Yeah. <laughs> 
<coughs> By the way, our uh, our custom. Well, I mean, th th this video is gonna go on the Midwestern channel, obviously, but it's also gonna go on mine. <coughs> so if you know, you know. But if you don't, um. I'm not going to be shaving this, by the way. I'm going to let this grow out. Eventually, I'll let the mustache grow out, too. Let's go for a goatee. But yeah, if you know, you know. But if you don't... So, for the Midwestern wet shavers... And on my channel, specifically, I'll put a link to that group down below. But we're having a, a custom shave soap. And aftershave splash being made for us by Uncle John from Uncle John Soap. <coughs> and it's called uh, Midwest Morning Hunt. It has notes of campfire, a little bit of pine, woodsy, musk. Very good scent, and I was talking to him the other day, and he said that he has the scent figured out. He has it. Now he's just waiting for all the supplies to get here, as of right now, you know, to get to his place, and he's going to make the soaps, and he's going to ship them out to everybody who orders them. I'm going to put a pre-order link, you know, a, a website to, a, uh, to where you can pre-order that, that set. Or just the soap or the splash. And that way he knows how many he has to make. And then once they're ready to ship, you just pay and you get it. And heck yeah, that's good. But yeah, if you... Whether you're watching this on the Midwestern channel or mine. If you're not on that group yet. And you just want to join for the set or for the soap or the splash, that's fine. We've had people join the group just for free stuff. We've had people join just because, just because of this set. Free stuff because we do a lot of giveaways. And we've had people that join just to join, to be in a new group. And whatever your reason is, that, that's fine. No matter where you're from, no matter what you shave with, no matter whatever reason you want to join for, you can join the Midwestern Wet Shavers. We only have In general, we only have one rule, it's just to be nice. <clears throat> but we're not super, like, high class and pish posh and everything like that. You can be whoever you are. Just be nice. But yeah, that was just a little message for whoever hasn't joined the group yet and is currently watching this. So for the guys that have been in the group... Ladies and gents, thank you for being in it. Really appreciate it. Everybody, almost everybody has participated in some kind of a way. Whether it's commenting, posting a, a picture like an SOTD, doing a live, promoting stuff. I mean, it's great. People are definitely being... Uh, good members and going above and beyond than just looking at the posts like honestly it's it's quite surprising like <clears throat> when my friend from Kansas Grant and I made this group we made it because Because the, the Midwest was pretty much not being represented online, on forums, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. And we thought that was, I mean, both of us being from the Midwest, I'm from, I'm from Illinois, we thought that was just bad. <clears throat> because... The South has a lot of stuff online, especially Florida. Um, 
the Southwest, clearly. A bunch of stuff everywhere in Utah, Colorado, Arizona. You know, PAA. Arizona Brushworks. Texas has a lot of stuff. Um, all the way to the West. In Nevada. California. Oh, California has a bunch of artisans a bunch of places to go to meetups like yeah but but in the midwest that i know of and, the, and i've looked online we have maggots and they're amazing i buy all my stuff from in adrian michigan cube brothers in chicago i haven't been there yet actually but yeah shave nation with geo fat boy but online like 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 just a bunch of regular dudes online getting together and we didn't find that so we made that group, but we never had a specific goal. Like, you know, what do we do with this group? We didn't really know. <clears throat> but then as people started joining a lot more, or a lot more people started joining, in particular during our third week, that's when we realized, oh, wow, this, this is actually like a, a legit big thing. And then we had an idea, the idea of having a custom soap and splash for once we reach 200 members and then I tried looking into who could do it for us and I had people say no and I had a lot of people say oh just go to my website and, and buy this stuff for your, for your group but we wanted something unique something special just for us and then out of the blue by the grace of God honestly Uncle John sent me a message my favorite artisan Uncle John I have a bunch of stuff from him. I'm a really big fan of his menthol soap. He messaged me and he was like, Hey, do you, do you still need someone to make that custom soap and splash for you guys? And I was like, yeah. And so we're working on that. I'm making the, the logo for it. And he's going to start making it soon for people that pre-order. Again, I'm going to post that link on Facebook. <clears throat> so again... If you're in the group, you're in the group. If you're not in it, then join. Go ahead and join. <clears throat> but we are really happy with how everything has been turning out. All this participation. People just being good. It's going really well. And we've we have um, other plans along with that. At some point, we want to have a meetup. And actually, there's some artisans and some vendors that I talked to about meetups. And also, um, I watched my Lather B Shavings video on meetups. And I realized we were too ambitious. Me and Grant were talking about having at least 100 people there. But from what I gathered from talking to people and from that video, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <clears throat> what I gathered was that you should start out small. So, I'm going to do touch-ups now. You should start out small. And... For some reason, this doesn't have peaks. <laughs> That's weird. But it's still very slick. I like it. You know, after if you watch my YouTube videos, I always do this to see if, if there's any peaks on that cream. It's still slick, though. So, that's all I care about, to be honest. And scent. But sorry, I went off on a tangent. So what I gathered was that you need to start small. And even if it's just 10 people or 30 or 40 people, then that's fine. That's still a lot. Biggest thing you need to worry about is 
what you're going to talk about, what you're going to do. Agree on how far everybody wants to drive in order to get there. So you can meet in the middle. So everybody can meet in the middle. Um, and just have fun with it. Invite people from your group, from everywhere, vendors. Just be chill. And obviously, specifically where you're going to have it, like a restaurant or a bar, bowling alley, hotel, banquet. Yeah. You need to worry about, about that sense, you know, that bond with people and that, that friendship and comfort. More than just how many people are going to be there. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Didn't make sense to me three weeks ago, but now it does. When we have a lot of people, we plan on having t-shirts that we can all wear at the meetups. Because honestly, at this rate, we've been on for a month, and we already have almost 400 people, a bunch of people participating. For every day, me and Grant are talking about, well, what can we add to this group that makes us different than the other ones, more unique? Because there's groups that focus on doing lives, there's groups that focus on pictures, there's groups that focus on asking questions, there's groups that focus on giveaways and challenges, artists and products. Our group focuses on all of that and it's not a little bit of everything kind of a thing, honestly it's a lot of everything. We do have a lot of everything in our group, a lot of people you know, giving away things, a lot of lives, a lot of uh, pictures of things that you might want to buy and then you ask the person, hey what is that, if they didn't say it, they'll tell you and then you can get it. Am I really going to go for a fifth pass? Sure, why not? I like talking to you guys and I don't really want to just stand here, so I might as well shave. I mean, our group has, uh, I'm not afraid to say that our group has it all. Is it the best? That's highly subjective. I can't say that. But our group does have it all. From, from what I've seen other groups offer, we do have that. And like I said, the only rule is be nice, and that's it. You can, you can, you know, you can crack jokes, you can invite anybody, you can, anybody can join. Um, whether they've been wet shaving for decades, or whether they're starting out, or whether they want to start out. Just be nice. We're, we're, we're that accepting, we're that open. And if you're in the group, you know. If you're not in the group, then you really, you really should join. It's not a matter of, oh, you're missing out. No, it's just go ahead and join. We like having a lot of people there. Everybody who's joined is honestly a very interesting, very unique, and very respectful person. Because everybody in general, as a human being, is like that. And also, we've just had almost everybody post something that's pretty cool and pretty unique. And... That's pretty good. So, really pleased with the group. It's going well, amazing. When this pandemic is over, I swear, I promise you, there will be a meetup. We'll arrange that for sure. We'll all agree with, with whoever wants to go. How far do you want to drive? Where should it be? We'll invite artisans and everything. It's possible. It really is. And we'll, we'll make it happen. Again, custom shave soap. Uncle John's going to start making that soon. I'm going to post the link to the website where you can pre-order it. The set or just the soap or the splash. So, if you've been posting on the group, keep, you know, keep it up. If you haven't, then... Go ahead and, and start. I mean, if you don't want to, that's totally fine. 
But if you feel like shy or something, then don't be. A lot of people, believe it or not, I mean, if, if, you know, if you know, you know. And if you don't, then I'd say there's been at least like 15 people that have done their first live shave on our group. And that's pretty impressive. That's one of the bigger accomplishments that we've had, I think. People are comfortable enough to uh, post their... Gotta toss this blade. It tugged a little bit, but not bad. People have been uh, comfortable enough to do their first live shave ever in our group, and that's pretty cool. Out, out of out of uh, the hundreds of groups that there are on Facebook, I mean, that's big. That's really big. Oh, our, all the content, all the people, all the plans we have. It's really good. And I invite anyone to join, like I said, wherever you're from, whatever you shave with, you're invited. And we call ourselves the Midwestern White Shavers because it is mainly for people in the Midwest. The meetup is going to be in the Midwest. Most of our members are from the Midwest. But uh, I've said this thousands of times. We're not going to isolate ourselves. This is wet shaving. This is friendship. Everyone's welcome. But God bless all of you that are in the group. And even if you're not in the group, dang, if you wet shave, you're a good person. Because it is an acquired taste. Wow. That was five passes, right? That was three passes, and then I did touch-ups, and then I just... Another touch-up. Surprisingly, that doesn't burn. Man, aqua velvet, seriously. Oh, my God, aqua velvet. You know what? In one of my videos, I talk about how it's really stupid how guys slap their face, but that right there, that aqua velva, that was highly needed. I feel the menthol a lot right here. I didn't shave here. That's weird. But very, very nice. Aqua velva ice blue. My goodness gracious. This beautiful stuff, guys. Walmart for 503. A seven ounce bottle. Go to Walmart, five dollars and three cents. Amazing stuff. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Some of this, my favorite body lotion from Bath and Body Works, Paris. Put some of that. Ooh, that's more than enough. What the heck? But yeah, I talked a lot about the group, so I mean, uh, a little bit about me, I guess, or, or a lot about me. I'm, I'm an open book. So if, you don't, so if you're done with the video, you know, you can click away or not, but I'm going to talk about myself a little bit now while I clean up here. I forgot to do that. So I talked about this in my first video that I made for my channel, The Budget Shaver, but... I started wet shaving March 2018. For years, since my fresh, I'm I'm a I'm a college senior now, but since my freshman year of uh, high school, I had I had um, you know, a goatee. I started growing facial hair when I was like six, because I was born four months early, December 10th, 1997. I was supposed to be born in March. So. They pumped up a bunch of steroids into my body to keep me alive. And that altered my uh, growth rate, maturity. So I got puberty really early and I started growing facial hair 
when I was in freaking first grade or kindergarten. Like I, I had, like I legit had a very visible mustache. There's pictures of me. I might post it on the group sometime. But yeah, that's a side note. So had facial hair almost as long as I've been alive. And then freshman year of high school, I started rocking a goatee. And I had that for years, years, until I started dating the girlfriend that I have right now, sophomore year of uh, college, two years ago, almost three years ago. Um, and a couple months into our relationship, she told me that I need to shave because she doesn't like facial hair. And I said, okay. So, I went to Walmart, and pretty much, let me show you, pretty much what I got was this. This isn't the exact same razor or the exact same can, but you, you know what I mean. Pretty much what I got was this. Now... This works well if you're in a pinch, but it's not as luxurious or soothing to the skin as, uh, you know, one of these, or one of these. And don't even get me started on using this. I mean, this is the best part of it. But this is good. I, I reviewed it in one of my videos. This is a very good razor. Everybody hates it, but it's a very good razor. As long as you're using something good like this. Everybody who talks crap about this, they've only used it with this. Bruh. That's what I think. So, good razor. But, that's what I got. And I wasn't getting good shapes because I was using stuff like this. Um, and, and this has menthol. That's the only reason I have it. Um, but, yeah. So, I, I uh, cut myself, got ingrown hairs and stuff like that. But then a couple months later, in March, I uh, stumbled onto a video of a guy wet shaving. Now, if you've seen the video, you've seen the video. If you haven't, then I might post it on the description here. But it's a video of a, of a bald guy with a thick stubble. Um, he's British. He's he's teaching how to use a you know one of these. And I thought, what the heck is that thing? It looks weird. And I, and I, and you know, it's a safety razor. What is that? And it looked cool. And he also used a brush like this. So I was like, why, why isn't he using a can? Why isn't he using the Gillette? <laughs> That's because I didn't know what shaving was. So after I saw that video, I thought, hey, that's interesting. That's a, that's a really cool way to shave. So. I can't get the soap on his brush. A lot of it's in there. Good brush, though. Okay, we're good. Um, but yeah, I uh, looked more into what safety razors are and what a shaving brush is. <laughs> and I did the stupidest thing. I went to Walmart. And I thought, maybe I'll get better shaves if I use a brush. Which did turn out to be the case, but I did it in a really stupid way. I swear to God. I went to Walmart and I got a freaking kabuki brush. If you don't know what that is, it uh, it's a uh, little tiny brush. It's really fat though. And it's for makeup. So it doesn't feel like this. It's incredibly soft hair with like no backbone. And I, it was like $17.00. L'Oreal or something and I used that with my shaving gel and I was able to actually whip up a lather it wasn't super sticky and and, and, and you know clumpy anymore like how shave gel normally is and my shaves were better but I thought I should get a safety razor it looks fun to use I thought it looks easy to use so I went to Walmart again a couple days later and for, I think, also $17, I got a Vanderhagen shave brush, or 
a Vander Hagen uh, safety razor. And uh, the first time I, I used it with my Kabuki brush and my, my shave gel, I cut myself everywhere. Literally everywhere was, was bleeding terribly. I swear to God. I've seen people use safety razors for the first time, you know, in videos, and they cut themselves, but that is nothing. Like, I wish I took a picture, M mainly here, right here, I was bleeding, like, it was like, like, drops, it was, my goodness. All because I didn't understand back then that a safety razor is the exact opposite of a cartridge, in that, with this, you don't press. With a cartridge, you deal, and you still won't hurt yourself because those are made for that they're also made for daily shaving but this you can use it on a tough beard and you know it'll go down right away but then I look more online and videos Ken Surfs, Nick Shaves, Kevy Shaves, all those big popular dudes Paul H. Films, I, I, I start looking at the videos and, and looking exactly at how they're using the razor and listening to the tips and tricks that they're saying. And obviously I saw them use shave brushes and shave soap, so I thought, I want to get that, but where do I go? So, and this was all, all during sophomore year of college. Um, within a month, March... 2018, um, I was still back in my college town. Right now I'm four hours away back home in my apartment in Woodridge, Illinois. I go to Western Illinois University, by the way, if any of you know what that is. It's a pretty good school in Illinois. It's in Macomb, all the way out west. But yeah, I, I, I uh, used a safety razor. What terribly, but I didn't give up. A lot of people give up, if you, if, if you, if you don't know. A lot of people that use safety razors after a bad experience the first time, they just give up. I've read YouTube comments, I've had people just say it on, on groups on Facebook that, hey, I'm, I'm ready to give up, I don't want to use this thing anymore, I can't get good shaves. And that's your choice, but I, I, I have to argue, if, if you have that, that magic touch, then that's good. But a safety razor, that's one of those things where you have to challenge yourself, you can't quit. I don't know what it was like back in the 50s to use this because this is what, you know. This is what this is today. This is everywhere. Everybody has this. Everybody had this back then. So maybe everybody just knew how to use one. Um, but now, obviously for about 20 years, what shaving has been resurfacing. And they call it wet shaving, but back then it was just shaving. Um... But yeah, I went to a store near me called hy V, and I got the Vander Hagen shave set. It comes with a bowl, a pink soap, a, an okay quality bore brush. Back then I thought it was amazing stuff, um, but my lathers were really dry and then really wet. And then I figured out how to make a good lather. I made a video about that. Um, and then after practicing and practicing with, you know, with the brush and the razor, I was able to eventually get really good shaves from researching stuff online, from just figuring it out by myself. How do you hold this thing? How do you lather? And my shaves, they started to become infinitely better than just using a can with a cart. Um, but again, I have to take it out again. I've been doing this back and forth. But again, this is really good as long as you're using a shave soap or a quality shave cream. Don't bash it, just try it. Don't think that just, be I'm going on a rant, sorry. Um, this is a more relaxed video. I try to kind of act professional in, the, in my own YouTube channel. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm close to you guys, so I'm okay being really chill. Don't think that if you use this, you have to use this. That's stupid. This works. That's good. But it's not as good as this. It's not as good as this. So when you use this with this, this will be better. 
<clears throat> but yeah, this video had a little bit of everything. I'm not even done yet. So, um, put some more of this Aqua Velva on just because I love it. So. Ah, oh, wow. After, the, after I got the hang of wet shaving, I started looking online. What websites do you buy more supplies from? Because at Walmart, they only have the Vanderhagen razor. At places like Walgreens and CVS and Hy-Vee, they only have the Vanderhagen shave kit with the soap and the brush and the bowl. And I found a lot of places and I thought, which one's the best? I saw some place called PAA, Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. I saw some place called Maggard's West Coast Shaving. What, what, what are these places? Are they good? So I literally one day went on Facebook and typed in wet shaving and I found millions of Facebook groups and I joined like 50 of them. Currently I'm in like 35, including the Midwestern wet shavers. Um, I've left some for a bunch of reasons. Um, but most of them are amazing. More Aqua Velva, why not? Um, drink it. Uh, so I joined those groups and I started asking questions, you know. How, to, how do you hold the razor? Am I doing a good job? I posted pictures. What are your guys' favorite products? Where do you buy your products from? And from what I gathered, the top two websites are West Coast Shaving and Maggards. I get my stuff from them um, all the time. Mainly Maggards because they're in Adrian, Michigan. They're not that far from me, so shipping's less. But when West Coast Shaving had their free shipping a year ago, I was ordering stuff from them every single week. Free shipping. You just can't go wrong with that. You save seven dollars. I mean, I saved seven dollars each time I I ordered something. That's just great. But the rest is history. I've been ordering stuff, I've been shaving, and now I made this channel. Because it's gonna be on my YouTube channel. And now I made this group with Grant. And you guys are awesome. It's been it's been a uh, an experience, a really, really good one. Like I, I, I just love wet shaving. Because to me, guys, I don't know about you, but to me, wet shaving is half shaving with all these good products, and the other half is friendship with you. And with anybody else that I've met through this. Um, but yeah, this is a very long video. So I hope you watch it all. I mean, you've watched pretty much all of it if you're at this point. Unless you skipped around. Which is cool. But yeah, I really hope you guys take care. If you haven't joined the, uh, the Midwestern Wet Shavers, you should. Um, if you're in it, that's good. Um... Custom Shave Soap and Splash from Uncle John's going to come out next month in uh, May. And uh, if you want to join the group for whatever reason, wherever you're from, whoever you are, uh, go ahead and join. You're welcome to join. Um, but yeah, I really like making this video, so I'll make more in the future. You guys take care. Uh, keep shaving good. And... Uh, it's up to you, but I do suggest to stay inside, um, obviously because of what's going on. But big plans for the future for this group. Really appreciate all of you. Um, it's just great. So again, take care and stay safe.